What's up everyone? This video isn't going to be my one of my typical videos about store and conversion rate optimization, but I wanted to make this video because I, I thought it was a good idea. So this video will be about the problem with a lot of these Shopify dropshipping gurus and experts. So with a lot of these people, once they reach a certain point or level when other people start following them, their egos become so high that, it, that they think they're the best and know it all and they think their advice is the best. Let me give some back info first and then I'll show you some examples of this. So most of you know that I like to join a lot of these Facebook and Discord servers to help or give advice to people since I have almost 8 years of experience in e-commerce and I specialize in, in conversion rate optimization and in increasing conversions, reducing abandoned carts and checkouts and pretty much how to build a high converting store in general. Which a lot of people have problems in because all the time in these groups I see people asking why they see low conversions or abandoned carts or whatever. So like I said, whenever I see someone ask about this, I try my best to help them, give advice or suggestions to better improve and optimize their store, and a lot of times kind of redirect them to my YouTube channel, which I have plenty of videos on how to increase conversions and much more, which most other dropshipping channels don't talk about and mainly only talk about Facebook ads, TikTok ads, finding trending or winning products as most of you know. However, the other day I joined Solja's Discord server. I'm not sure why he chose that stupid nickname, but it's whatever. But I did see some people showing their screenshots of low conversion rates, so I started to help like I no normally do. And sure, I did say that I have a YouTube channel talking about these topics that you can check it out. I clearly said that I wasn't trying to promote and just trying to help people into the right direction since this is a big issue in e-commerce. I later got a DM from Big Boss Solja saying that his team informed him, informed him that I was self-promoting self and making sure I don't do that. I told him that I wasn't and just trying to help and guide people into the right direction like I said above. Everything was fine after that but later during the day someone else posted one of their, one of their screenshots of them doing mil millions of dollars and I'm pretty sure I, I also saw someone ask about how to find winning products so I replied to them saying that pretty much any product can be a winning product like I talked about in one of my other videos. So I also suggested him to stop watching these videos on people showing like top trending or winning products to sell in February for example. And I had like two people uh, reply to me saying that they agreed with me which was great. But after that I noticed I got banned from the server. I wasn't sure why I got banned so I joined the group again with my other account because I was just having a conversation with these other people. And the big boss soldier replied to me saying that I promote a course and don't show numbers. He basically banned me to save other people from my BS. It's funny because that same day I released my store optimization course and before that I never really posted anything about a course and that dude just saw my most recent video and just made an assumption of me. I also find it pretty funny because he hangs out with a lot of people who do promote courses on dropshipping so that's pretty stupid to say of him. And I can understand why I get banned from a lot of these groups for redirecting people to my content because these people don't like when I redirect them to better content because they only want other people to follow them and listen to them which is pretty sad. It also sucks because most of these people who are asking these questions aren't getting the help they need and the majority of the time I'm the only person or a few other people are giving reasonable suggestions or advice while these other people or gurus just say to them to change up their ad creatives or change up something like their offer or just move on to the next product. Another example from these guys egos getting so high is from a person named Brett. I joined his Facebook group and saw someone suffering from low conversion rate. And as you can see, Brett replied to him just saying to improve his offer. But the person replied to him saying that a lot of people were adding the cart and reaching checkout but not purchasing. And he also said that his offer works. So then again, I jump in and try to help him kind of redirecting to my channel, my YouTube channel for, for more guidance or to get ideas on how to better improve his store to increase his conversion rate. And then I get banned again. So I messaged the big boss, Brett asking why I got banned even though I was just answering his, this guy's question and linking to my video explaining why he may have low conversions. 
He basically said that I was promoting my channel, which I totally understand, but I say that's a pretty BS answer if you actually did your job correctly and helped people, instead of saying generic things like improve your offer, maybe people in your group wouldn't be asking similar questions. He later goes on to say that I know nothing about him and saying that I have a lot to learn about business and everything. He's not going to let let me misguide people in his community, even though I have almost eight years of experience and knowledge in e-com and business in general, respectfully. So I thought it was a pretty stupid thing for him to say that. If you look on his channel, like 90% of his videos are all about Facebook ads and nothing about store optimization to increase conversions. So after I got banned, I messaged someone that I knew that was also in the group to get an opinion. He said that it wasn't fair to me that I got banned and I was just trying to help someone and not promote my channel. You can also see that he said that Brett was wrong and actually misled him too. And the last example of a Shopify's guru's ego getting so high is my guy Big Boy A.C. Hampton. I'm going to make this one short because a lot of people already know that he's fake and a scammer, allegedly. As you can see here, someone asked on one of his videos about what's a realistic initial investment for someone who is brand new, so from buying a course, creating a store, doing ads, and so on. It's a great question because on YouTube you'll see a lot of these videos about $100 budget videos on dropshipping, which is pretty unrealistic because the lowest Shopify plan is $29 a month, and if you buy a domain name from Shopify, that's another $14, so you're pretty much left with $50. And that $50 will most likely go down the drain within the first day or two of running ads. But besides the point, AC Hampton didn't even bother to take less than five minutes of his day to form a one sentence answering her question. Instead, he just replies with a generic trash response directing her to his DMs for no reason to try to upsell most likely on his course or mentorship on emotion. And this isn't the first time he's, he's actually done this too. Here's another one of doing the same thing. But if someone asks him about his mentorship, you best believe he's going to give you an answer. I've had people tell me that they paid $3,000 for his mentorship, which is extremely a ripoff on itself and regretting it. And other people telling me that it was a scam and not worth it. You'll also see in this comment section, of fake comments from his team saying things like best mentor in the game so that gullible people or new beginners can see that as fake as social proof and then they can fork down thousands of dollars into AC Hampton's pockets. It's honestly just sad to see people that aren't getting the help they need and just getting generic responses or being misled with other stuff. And that's about it for this video. If you like this video please like and subscribe because it helps the channel grow. Thanks for watching everyone.